I think that's it. Yeah, it's done. Oh, Master Witcher, I'm here, sir. F, 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 F. There you go. Wound doesn't look good. Patch that up quick if I were you, before it starts festering. If I needed medical advice, I'd have called for a healer. And you look like none such, not even a quack. <sighs> mm -hmm. And if you wanted a Witcher to help you, you should have thought twice about being rude. Forgive me. The paint's so blasted bad, it's darkened my mood. A foulness has made its lair in the grotto. I barely escaped with my life. I've been eyeing the cave for a storehouse quite some time. Would you look inside? I already did. Done that already. Ran into a few giant centipedes. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, and how am I to prevent them from crawling back in? Don't know. I kill monsters. Don't predict the future. You needn't be cross, Witcher. You shall get a good price on all my goods. In gratitude. Come back well, in two days' time. Rip my XP bonus and everything. Storehouse I've made. I'm off. See you later. Oh, it's over there. All right, stuff. Roach. Go, go. Pardon me? That's it, Roach. I guess I'm walking. Where are we going here? Uh, if we'll go here. Hey, Tony Champion! The bells must give you one hefty reduction. Oh! Right. I don't know how to get in.
scared me half to death, Drifter. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Oh, uh, they call me Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia, crest of the bridge. Hail and well met. Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... Well, indeed, for... For... Grotore is a most fierce... Oh, this is this quest, gotcha. I must prepare properly for battle. The first time we got... By napping outside the cave for a fortnight. I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Oh, maybe you can help. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? Hmm. I... I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. Hmm. All in all, I... I suppose you're right. We must fight side by side, then. For honor. That shield is huge. What are you, Havel? to not puff its head. Hmm, strange. No sign of Gratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. Impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. Children's shoes. Have I ever seen a collection of this grotesque? Something on the other side. Can I feel through? Another sword or sign book of this. Don't mind if I do. Somewhere, probably feeding. Need to lure it. We're the bestiary about the entry about the Grator. Bestiary. Umbra, no. So it's probably either a relic. Yeah. Uh, happened like this, and then see rain caught me when I was out in the woods, so I thought to myself, I'll hide in some hollow, for God's forbid I get soaked through the catching cold of my age. I crawl into a cave, and there inside something roars at me, towards me, out, threw me as a vest. Tore out of me, tore out of there so fast, the wind had dried my coat by the time I got there. No one knows exactly what the Spriggan called to a tour first made its home in the caves at the foot of the Mount Gorgon. Spriggans usually prefer to the backwoods and rarely make dens in caverns. Jagger Tor seemed to have taken a liking to grottos, giving rise to its nickname. The monster was uh, quite well known among Buclair Knights, who often talked of its potential source of great glory. None were particularly eagle, eager to actually engage the monster in combat, however. None that is except for the young knight Francois. Look at this old boy.
Burn Qua, you're the greatest. No damage yet. Truth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You aided me greatly. Why not choose a less fearsome beast? Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable. A werebub, for instance. Why? For. For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... You're blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another for two years. So I vowed to slay Grittori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast why it could take months. Especially at the rate you were going. Time to head back to Beauclair. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, oh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. Uh, to honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. Take the damned head, go back to Beauclair. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. You're blind to my predicament. Once I return, I will have no recourse. She'll drag me to the nearest shrine, why? Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels. All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters, which is work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work. That you're just not cut out for. Want to prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. You do not mince words, Master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground for a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time. I might have returned home. What a guy. Return to France Walls, beloved. Whew. So where does this go? Oh, it lifts around. Gotcha. I'm not going to ride there. Don't spawn in the cave, Rich. Uh, maybe this cave leads to that. It might. I'll just head southeast. I'll get to the uh, palace. What's the cat doing in What? Why? No, that works. Works for me. Come on, Roach. He's done it. Faster. Well, my wash is done. I'll switch it around like 30 minutes when I'm... Patrolling on an empty stomach. Oh, that's 
Oof. Where is the fast travel? North of me. I'm a tapping A. Boo doo 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 doo. Boo doo 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 doo. Urgh. Yeah, the butterfly. You feel faint? Okay. Over dramatic much? A book to the book to a miraculous gua guide to Gwent contains information about what Gwent cards you were missing. I wonder how many I have. I think I have a couple. Apparently there's some I'm missing because I didn't do a certain quest, but It'll be at the bottom, wouldn't it? It might be an actual book, book though, quest book. Wow, there's more quest books than there are normal books. Can't you actually see it though? Uh, and the following shall appear. Bellin has 49, Navigrad has 31, Skeletal Isles has 25, Wood Orchard has 1, Oreo Palace and Vizima has 1, Karamorin has 1, Number of New Cards, which can still be 1 from players for uh, no particular renown or skill, 45. Mouse of Panic, 50% increase to mounted combat damage. Raises a cloud of poison when detonated, enhanced, okay. Now we're fine. Quest, cleaning mixture, nah. I thought that was a way to see which ones you actually are, the ones you actually have, which ones you're missing. Kind of like a gay uh, collector's book. That was a quest item. Books so maybe down here. It was like a purple book, I think. There it is. Maybe you can. Okay, never mind. I thought there was a way to see which ones you actually had and which ones you don't. I guess I'm wrong. Remember that. Oof. Check yet. Got good news, madam. As do I. Francois has returned. We marry in a week's time. <laughs> Prenuptial teachings at the temple tomorrow. Dress fitting the next morn, then a tour of the wedding venue. I have never been so happy. Uh, he didn't tell us. I'm not going to. Congratulations. Congratulations, I guess. Wish you happiness, both of you. And good fortune to you on your path. Your reward, Master. And Godspeed. Okay. Here's a pansy. Quests, Witcher contracts. We'll do this one. Bovine blues. What is it? Fallout 4 DLC? Fallout the biggest DLC? Examine the cow, car cow carcass at the workman's body. Whatever it said. And the workman's body. Gotcha. Grim match your witcher gear unlocks additional effects once you collect all of the or part of a set. I like it. That was scary. Must 
be Emil. Workers mentioned him. Poor guy. Unlucky as all hell. Right. Now where do I start? We went to the worker's body. Crushed by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Blunt around my wounds on the cow. Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. Bite wounds on the cow. Got sliced open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left them clearly. Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Punctures and slashes in the cow. Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. Cause of the accident? Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. Use your witch senses to investigate how the crane was damaged. Can I get up there? Carol, you can do it. He's done it. Blood. Dragon, it must have hit it pretty hard. Dropped the cow, then probably tried to steady its flight. Got hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. Traces of draconid blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. See, it's been like 30 years since I started this quest, so I guarantee it's not around here anymore. Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. can hear it. Two of them? Hmm. Our rapines. No counts me getting the kill. Maybe if I get the uh, insta kill account. Hope to bed. Landed on the roof of the distillery. Raised a ruckus, made a mess, then moved on. Don't mind if I do. Give me all the potatoes. We're almost out of honey. Paw prints. Crawled through here. Clearly too tired to fly. Was in a bad way. Barely crawling. Mm, second draconid landed here. A larger one. Waited for the smaller one to heal. Then they flew off together. Should be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. Flew off together. Probably bound for their nest. Bovine Blues. Trail ends here. Hmm. Been up here already. I already told them. Take a look. Just to be sure. Whoop, okay. Maybe it's two different monsters. My eyes. Mm -hmm. Added 
right. Slizzard stole the cows. Well, killed them already. Maybe now I can rest on the eggs haven't hatched yet. Need to burn the whole nest. Can I loot the eggs? Thank you. Hope time to ride back. You'll be fine, girl. That run. Oh, letting bug. Favorite. Come on if I do. Well, have you learned how that cow came to fly? Yep, cleared everything up. Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So what was behind the animal's plummet? Young slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it was trying to get it back to its nest, food for its mother and siblings. Probably heard the last of the beasts. Burned the nest, eggs, everything. A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. That's fine. Take this, and I thank you, Master. 300 crowns? All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just the dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil's widow compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, men? Back to work, chop chop! And I've a notion suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign I of I did most of them already. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or, or locusts got them, like in Zerikania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architects wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your yaps and get to work. Allow me to walk you away, Master. As I'm missing some, they can tell me where the rest of them are. Truth be told, I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later, I shall divulge to you the details. Well, I mean, I'm gonna come to you right now. Big feet to fill. <sighs> so, Master, the workers who vanished, how goes the search? Vanished, what did that, what's that mean? Oh. Vanished, what's that mean? Just that, along with ample supplies. I had placed an order. More than a dozen wagons reached the building site, yet five we did three? were lost along the way. Tools, food, building materials, and first and foremost, the specialists we need. The chief architect included. I wrote to the architect to say the quarry awaits. He should send new plans. But the foreman said the architect was here, at Ardaizo. And this means... He's missing too. Got it. I'll look around, see what I can learn. Master, I know not how to thank you, but I beg you to hurry. We shall simply not finish without those five wagons. St. Labodia's footsteps location marked on your map indicate places where transports carrying materials need to finish St. Labodia's statue. Where engineers responsible for its construction have run into trouble, provide them with aid 
and watch as you help erect one of the wonders of the world. Visit the building site. I could do that. I still have two. Yeah, two more. We got a fast travel around here. We do, right? I'll go visit the uh, building site. Go north. If you don't mind, can you repair my gear? You're a real welcoming fellow. You Let's get this dialogue. Personable, or you just get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? I got up on the right side. I always do. My left leg's been lame ever since my accident. I worked here once, see? Breaking stone. Until a part of a rock face fell away and crushed my foot. Mm hmm. Sorry. Feel foolish now. Not to worry. Such things are commonplace here. Part of the job. Every now and then someone breaks something. Twists an ankle. Or their neck. Show me your goods. Show me what you... I just assumed for him to be a regular merchant. So I was like, you know what? Skip the dialogue. Phineas. Goodbye, Phineas. I could probably, like, repurpose my, uh, sword here. Well, my other one, the one I'm currently using. I got the achievement for doing the burning, poison, bleeding. So I could change it and just focus on one. Get more burning. Maybe. I don't really care that much, though. I'm gonna save these. We only found three parts, though. I thought we would have found the whole outfit. I guess I'm wrong. Why not? Per these. Got it. Bye now. <laughs> Even Saracania. So they're all within the general area of the statue itself, it seems like. So I'll do them as I go to the optional. One's right next to and the other one's a bit east. It's not bad. So we will probably you know I'm gonna go to the bridge. Or no, we can go to Fox's Hollow go here. Then head right up. And we'll take the boat across. Take the boat back and get the one right above it. Character statistic the character statistic statistics screen provides all sorts of interesting information and that's you blank blank blank. Now we discover a new village, check out the notice board. Alright, Roach. Why wow, don't spawn over there? That's good enough. Faster. Faster. Tiger. Oh, have fun. Oh, I have this stupid thing on. No, no, inventory is what I want. Let's go, we got the pig boy. Off in. Hidden treasure. Damn it. Bandits. Nah, Balgites. The 10th hit was the kill hit, so it didn't count. Rip the dream. I'm sure uh, where to start. A dig as the nearest old wash woman or old men was sling by the road. They know everything. Yes, yes, I know it takes a great deal of patience and you have to separate the wheat from the chaff. But it's the best way to learn about local legends. That's how we came to find Fox Hollow, where they say the um, soil sprouts clay pots. We got part of a vineyard on the outskirts of Fox Hollow, but what we found there. There were no pots, there were elven funeral urns. It seems the village is built on top of an ancient Einstein necropolis. That cemetery dates by my reckoning to the time before the first landing. 
that the graves must be full of valuables. Ancient elves bury their dead along with great wealth. I already dug up a few baubles, uh, but I'm sure if we look deeper, we can find much more. A couple weeks later, today we start at the new dig in the new location. Matthias spied a beautifully ornate, ornamented cameo on the ground. And when he tried to grab it, he discovered it was clenched in his hands of a skeleton. Anselm started to mock him, but quickly lost all desire to laugh. The valley was full of elven skeletons, men, women, and even children. Their bodies were all mixed, with limbs chopped off, many heads missing, and children were crushed rib cages. What happened here? Days later, I was asleep as night, blood cries, wails. I awake drenched in sweat, and I drove off to the mo for a moment, and then the same happens again. I told my fellows to dig a deep hole, a hole will throw the cursed cameo aside. Belongs in the ground with the rest of the, with the rest of the dead. Two days later, Matthias disappeared during the night. No one saw him leave camp. Things are all in place. Anselm says we should follow his example and flee while we're still alive. But I, I cannot leave it like this. The valley is fi um, full of bones. Anselm screamed in my face, called me a madman. But I must tell someone what we have found. They say there is a group of archaeologists from Castel Cupion at the Trans Ruins. The rest is covered in blood. It's kind of on the way. Oh, of course. Instant death. Rude. No, 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 no. Elder speech, or elder speech. Greetings to you, dear mother. I write to you now, just before I mediate. As I promise, I hope my letter finds you in good health. Very little of note has happened here since you left. Despite your warnings, we got on well with the humans. They are so fascinating in the way they obsess over death. California, if you can imagine it, submitted to Blatniad. She really likes Arniald. The Mil Miller's son, personally, have nothing against this, but I know where you are in Dola Blatina. That would be unthinkable. I went to visit Miles Shashlian's grave recently. Yes, I know you won't approve of that. Since when do the unshad care about the graves of their loved ones? Yet living among people necessarily means we take on some of their customs. Well, there I happen to learn that the humans plan to build a village near Cavern Karn. This is difficult, but personally it does not bother me, but Blathenad, you know her, began screaming about how this is a profound nation and they have countless other perfectly good spots where they could build in their village. Hope this will not grow into some larger conflict. We have it uh, so good here. Rest of the letter is eligible. Then the eldest of the Anshad ends up the speech in which he tells of the dead's deeds. The body covered in a shroud is placed on the pyre made of the elder wood. Next, a further layer of the wood is placed on top. When the pyre is finished, the mourners gather around in the form of a circle. The eldest of the Anshad place a torch into the pyre. Then five members of the dead's family each do the same. The fires fed throughout the night until the first glimmers of dawn. The mourners then pyre and go to their homes, only to return ineligible. Then the remains of the pyre are raked, and bone fragments are sought up among the ashes. The eldest place their bones in the urn previously filled with, uh, filled with ash from the pyre. The urn is then sealed and placed in the family chambers in the burial grounds, and the mourners go to eligible. Eligible. Any more holes? No? Okay. The lore. Roach boy. Take me to what were we doing?
I'm gonna go around then. Ooh. There's a bridge here, right? Come on, Roach. Please, we need to go over this way. That shoe is almost done. Prophet Labodia statue. Ah, Arrgh. Beyond that. And verily I say unto you, if men were but to let the prophet Lepiotis yeah, teachings into their hearts, this Which or not. impressive. Oh, okay. Go to this one. No, can't switch. Cannot switch markings. Okay, we're gonna go to the other one, the further one. Unless this is a harbor. Uh, I mean, it kinda is, but nah. I'd rather just do this. Check this out. There were part two. Probably check this out, then I'm gonna go take a minute or two, which over my wash, and then we'll continue. Also, I should meditate. So, what is this? Hidden treasure. Get that, Miranda. Journal is completely soaked. Only a few entries can be deciphered. Belt Haven, 23rd day of service. Nothing irritates me more than a land rats thinking they're cock of the walk. Yet court John Joel Balagarge. That's what the impertinent the prick made me call him. Managed to assuage my assuage my irritation and dab by clunking a hefty pouch of the Guardian Florence on the table. His entourage loaded the ship with bundles and hauled on his huge cage covered with a sail. Court Blagard is explained it held one of the most one of those famed like brainy and striped horses, a gift from the Duchess Henrietta. Uh, Melvin on Buclair Route 24, day of, 24th day of service. Had nothing but trouble with his arrogant and barn horse. It gnaws on the deck like the bee has gone mad, plus we've got to make sure the tarp covering his cage is tightly fastened for it seems this creature is as sensitive to the sun's rays as a vampire. In which case, what good is it to the Duchess, a striped horse, she, um, she can only ride at night. There's no comprehending these aristocrats. Belhaven, Bureauclair Route, 25th day of service, a thousand thundering sea devils, there was no horse in the cage, but a godless is Salmar. Overgrown rock rat chewed through the deck, capsized the ship, and buried into the river bottom. And that idiot Count Belagarge fell to his knees and begged me to help catch the monster. He handed me the key to the chest of jewels. He'd keep close watch on the whole trip and sword would be mine if we recaptured the monstrosity. I most likely grab a thick cloak, smash him upside the head, and take that chest right now, but I'm not some plungering I'm not some plowing pirate. I gather the lads who managed to survive the wreck and will try to catch the monster in our nest. The Count claimed to know some trickery to us to use to sneak up on the beast. What was that about again? The cave. Well, I'm gonna loot this, then I'm gonna go do that. Read all those already? Nah, I can't loot this way. Okay. I'm going to save it here. Can I even save the water? I oh, can. I'll be back in one minute. 